Traders, uh, my trading session is over today with uh, maximum daily stop loss reached. And of course, you got to have this one also. Uh, you always have a, a maximum daily stop loss and a maximum per trade stop loss. And the right now, as you can see from the numbers uh, below, uh, I'm almost at uh, $28,000 and uh, that definitely uh, is a big stop loss for me. You know, usually my daily stop loss is less than that. It's around 15,000, 18,000 or something like that. That's approximately what I'm trying to hold for. However, uh, I'm over this number today. And you may ask yourself why. Because the reason for that is because my daily stop loss is kind of breathing stop loss. Also, my per trade stop loss is kind of a breathing stop loss. What does that mean? First, you need to realize that what I'm about to tell you is something you should never do if you're just starting out as a trader. Just never do what I'm about to say. But you need to look forward to being in that position sometimes because as you get along with trading, as you become a better trader, you need to change that. And here's what I'm about to say. When, when, when you develop as a trader, some trades look to you like they could possibly be bigger winners. You may not have the capabilities, the, the, uh, the, the, know, the knowledge, the know-how to determine right now at, 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 at where you are, if you're just starting out, whether you really have that capability right now or not. But a few years down the, down the road, you will come to the point where you can kind of feel that a trade is going to be better than others. One trade is going to be better than others. Not all trades are created equally. Some of them look better. Some of them uh, seems to you like... Uh, 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 you could get a better winner if you put in more uh, more money. You know, when we learn the start trader course, we, we often say that uh, when we talk about money management or risk management, really, we talk about the fact that you should risk up to 2%, actually normally 1% of your capital per trade. Never risk more than 1%. However, we also mentioned that sometimes you need to go to up to 2%. Why is that big 100% change? Because some trades are really created better. Well, I, 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 in, the, in, in the past year or so, you could, you could have noticed that I'm really having some good time with Tesla. Uh, several days making with uh, over $100,000, tens of thousands of dollars in Tesla. However, today, as you can see, I have a huge loser in Tesla. Why is that? Because I felt the same way today. I felt like I could have a very big winner in Tesla. Pre-market time, I was pointing out Tesla as uh, one of my biggest winners today. I was watching the daily. I was expecting Tesla to come down. Of course, I was wrong. You can see the results here. But uh, sometimes when, when, when a trade looks to you as if it's going to be your best trade today or maybe this week, you should put in a little bit more risk. That's what I did today in Tesla. Now, does it always work out fine? No, absolutely not. I mean, you can see the results. But most of the time it does. And then I'm taking more risk and making more money. Sometimes it just goes the wrong way and I'm losing a lot of money. So, although my daily stop loss is less than $27,000, still I did the right thing. I was hoping to get a bigger winner in, in one of my trades. I was taking a little bit more risk. And this, this is, in fact, something you should do. Again, not if you're just starting out. Just don't, don't get to that point. Have your daily stop loss. Have your max stop loss per trade. Just tend to the rules. Uh, possibly have a hard stop in the system. You know, we discussed this plenty of times. Should you have a hard stop or a mental stop? I'm, I'm definitely saying a mental stop again if you are if you have some more uh, experience, if, if, if you're not just starting out. But, you know, again, when you start out, better have a hard stop in the system because it, it makes you trade uh, with more confidence. Uh, have a maximum daily stop loss because, again, it gives you more confidence. And, again, when you improve as a trader, you could change the rules a little bit. So that was the reason, that is the reason why I have a big losing day today. And, well, you know, it's a part of the game. And... Um, I do have a lot of days uh, like this uh, on the green side, but uh, today, sadly, not. Let's take a look at some of my trades today. Well, Tesla, I'll start with this one because it was a very unpleasant loser. Um, you know, 
I was uh, uh, I was definitely watching Tesla today. It started with a gap down. Initially, it came down, and then it bounced over the highs very strong. And then when it came down again, I thought, well, that should be the time where Tesla fades. And look at this consolidation here. It tried to move higher, then failed, and that looked to me like I was finally right. And then it spiked up like crazy and I never move out on spikes. That's a one minute candle over the highs here. And I never move out on spikes. That's why I hanged on in Tesla and it came down again. And at that point I thought, well, I'm right. It's going my way. I should add. And I added. And there came the stop here. 728 was a stop. 728.50 was the highs. Now, why should you move out before it moves over the highs? Because when a stock is moving over the highs, you could expect a big green candle like that. That's a breakout point in Tesla. Now you need to realize that uh, Tesla is a stock that's being watched by a lot of people. Everybody's watching Tesla. I mean, find, show me a trader that doesn't look at Tesla intraday. I mean, do you know a trader like that? <laughs> I personally don't. If a trader has more than just one screen, he's watching Tesla today. And when Tesla is moving over the highs, well, there will be a lot of people who would go long. You want to get out before the party starts. You want to get out before everybody kicks in and uh, gives you a hard time like that. Watch the volume. The volume here shows you that uh, Tesla was bought by a lot of people. And again, you should anticipate a new high. You shouldn't move out be after it moves to a new high. That's what novice traders do. You, as an experienced trader, hopefully, move out, should move out before it moves to a new high. And you always need to anticipate the next move. I anticipate it's going to move under the lows. That's why I added. Of course, I failed. But I also anticipated sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. But that was, um, well, quite clear you should move out before it moved to a new high. So moved out of Tesla and uh, very, very unpleasant loss. BTBT is a very small winner because my first uh, trade in BTBT was uh, uh, very red. So the second trade actually just covered it and I still have 100 shares. So I could uh, be up another $150 right now. So just slightly in green after my second trade in BTBT. Well, BTBT, if you take a look at the daily, looks to you. Uh, we talked about this one yesterday. Let's take one more look in here just to remind you. Um, you see, this stock came up from $4 just a few weeks ago to $33. Uh, we had a very nice short yesterday and I was expecting a continuation today. However, uh, initially it moved up and I, I thought, well, that would be the end of the game here. And then I shorted it here. And then it took me out with a stop over here or somewhere over here, I can't remember. And then at the next failure, well, I thought the party should be over because it's very likely to be over. This stock is down quite a lot today. And I thought, well, it should do exactly the same like it did yesterday and come down. And yes, it did come down and I had a very nice winner. Not only we moved in here, 27.50, also added here under 27. That's why my second trade was a bit better than my first trade. So just a very small green trade in uh, BTBT. Also had uh, FSLR, which was by the book trade, uh, stock that gapped up down today. It was on my shortlist today, uh, shorted it. It did play around, but finally did come down. I, had, uh, I mean, I had already a winner here and then it spiked up again. I believe that was the case. I can't remember exactly. And then a second trade over here, which also worked out. So FSLR is a nice winner that, you know, not huge size, not a huge winner. Um, I did not uh, look at it as if, uh, I, I mean, I, I gave Tesla more weight. I mean, I, I was really expecting a big winner today in Tesla. Of course, I failed. But um, so FSLR, just two nice intraday trades, um, one winner, one loser in BTBT and uh, a loser in Tesla. So actually I have three losers and uh, uh, three winners, I could say. But uh, again, I, I, I gave Tesla more. Uh, well, I thought Tesla was going to be a winner. I was, I was wrong. Anyway, can't make it uh, uh, green all the time. And um, for those of you who, do, who didn't realize until now, uh, day trading is one of the world's hardest professions. And a day like this, if you watch me lose $27,000, um, then it's just a proof that uh, things doesn't always go right. I do have more winning days than losing trades, losing days, but uh, this is a profession that uh, comes with risk. 
a lot of risk. It's not a walk in the park. It's a hard profession. That's why 90% of the people who, uh, uh, sadly, 90% of the people who try day trading are, uh, can survive uh, this very, very hard, extremely hard profession. I don't want to know, um, I don't want to make you feel bad about that because, you know, if you don't try, you never get anywhere. And uh, if you do try and you do have uh, enough education and enough uh, uh, money to hang on uh, as you lose, because most people are losing at the beginning. I mean, everybody's losing at the beginning when they're just trying out, then hopefully you can survive. But, you know, it still is a tough time sometime. Anyway, I want to thank you all for trading with me today. And I'm very sorry I couldn't help you much. Uh, I know the other analysts did uh, well. Uh, Yogi did uh, better than I did, much better. And uh, Scott, and I've seen other trades here posted by Danny and other analysts. So, well, you know, <laughs> it's one of these days. I want to thank you all. If you are on YouTube and, uh, and um, you like our trading room, our free trading room, we will appreciate if you could give us a thumb up. It's right here, that button. And uh, I want to thank you all again. And uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders.